a a pleasant good day everyone this is sports fanatic news i'm joe borick and this is going to be our first nba team preview edition and this one is going to be on the atlanta hawks as we're going in alphabetical order they of course finished 20 and 47 last year which was fifth in the east southeast division the atlanta hawks did make a lot of additions this offseason they really have one of the best sleeper offseason adding in Rajon Rondo to be a good veteran to their um, guards, their young guards, and Trey Young, obviously, who's an absolute stud and one of the elite players in this league, DeAndre Hunter and Chris Dunn, who they also added in this offseason. Chris Dunn and Trey Young are definitely going to be mentored well by Rajon Rondo. Excuse me, and then they also made a key addition of one of the best shooters, in Bogdan Bogdanovich to give them a very, very hefty backcourt to deal with of Trey Young and Bogdan Bogdanovich. So that is going to be huge for them. And then they have Cam Reddish and DeAndre Hunter to be very, 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 very capable at the small forward position. And then we didn't even get down to John Collins. And now Clint Capella is going to be back and healthy this year. They got a very, very good starting five as far as I'm concerned. And really one of the most underrated, if not the most underrated, potentially starting five coming into this season. John Collins is an absolute beast. And Clint Capella is one of the more underrated centers in basketball as far as I'm concerned. He's one of my favorite centers. He's a little bit shorter, of course, but he's still able to get it done at 6'10". With averaging a double-double, 13-13. and I mean, this dude gets it done. John Collins gets it done. And then Trey Young is going to be literally the next guy that I think is going to be as fun to watch as Steph Curry was in his peak. The guy averaged almost 30 last year at 29.6 points and almost averaged a double-double still with 9.3 assists. So he's got it going on. DeAndre Hunter's just getting better and better as he averaged almost 13 last year and averaged almost five boards. So this team is a team that's definitely going to be far and beyond improved. Of course, that's not saying much coming from a 20-win place, but I think they're going to be far and beyond improved. We're, of course, playing 72 instead of 82 games this year. And this team is going to win at least around the 500 mark, if not better. This is a first year of a lot of these guys coming in. As I said, they added Rondo for good veteran. They added Chris Dunn, who's a very good scrapper, averages usually around 7, 8 points. And then they added a very good shooter, and a guy in Danilo Gallinari that can play the three or the four, and a very good shooter, and a guy that can play defense as well, and Bogdan Bogdanovich, that's a good two or three. So this team is very good and very capable. I think 500 is the bare minimum for them, though. I do want to stress. I do think this Atlanta Hawks team does have the ability to go at least 40 to 42 wins uh, in a 72-game season, where 36 is the 500 mark when you do 72 games. But that's where I think the Atlanta Hawks are going to be, around the 40 to 42 win mark, but the least, the bare minimum, is going to be a 500 team. And that is a very hefty improvement from 20 and 47. They made some very, very key additions and great additions in them. And Cam Reddish and DeAndre Hunter, I think, are going to take a gigantic leap forward this year and show just how capable they can be playing the three. Adding Danilo Gallinari, I think, is going to go down as one of the most underrated moves of the offseason, and everybody was desiring Bogdan Bogdanovich, and the Hawks ended up being the ones to get him, not the Bucks. So this is going to be a key addition for them now, and that is going to help propel them to potentially a playoff spot this year, and if not, just a very competitive and fun team to watch coming off of a very disappointing season last year. So congratulations to the Bucs on a very, very successful offseason. I would give them an A on their offseason, and now we'll see what their grade will be on their season as it starts soon, starts this week. So have a great, safe, and pleasant day, everybody. This has been a team preview of the Atlanta Hawks. For Sports Fanatic News, I'm Joe Borick. Peace out, everybody.